You know, ladies and gentlemen, I've been married now for about 12 years. And you know, if you've been married for any amount of time like me, there are times when things are great, you are on cloud nine, and then there are other times you're saying, Lord, did I miss it? Why in the world did you send this person down my path? If you're really honest with yourself, hence the reason why I've got this wonderful shirt on today. I love my crazy wife. In every marriage, there is crazy. It doesn't matter who you are, whether you're male, female, whether you're the husband, whether you're the wife, there is crazy in both of you. We're going to teach you today on how to love the crazy in your spouse and navigate marital turbulence. It's going to be great. It's going to be awesome. Lock and load, ready your weapons. Hope today starts now. Welcome, welcome, welcome to this crazy edition crazy. of Hope Today. <laughs> it's about to be crazy up in here, y'all. We're going to identify, we are going to go through and diagnose the crazy and help you get through your crazy, and it's going to be a great day because, listen, no matter what's been going on in your marriage and your relationship, or even if you're dating right now and it seems like they're crazy and they're thinking you're crazy, it's all good because we got some crazy answers for y'all as well. So I'm J. Anthony Gilbert. I'm here with my lovely wife, Pastor Tiff. Good yes. to be with you, baby. You're looking good. Why are you rocking that shirt? Because you're rocking your shirt. That's but I, listen, everybody, I have to tell you, even though he's wearing his shirt and I'm wearing my shirt and I'm stating that he's crazy, I listen, he's crazier than I am. He is a little bit more crazy, <laughs> actually a lot more crazy <laughs> than I do. So you just need to take that shirt off right now and throw it away. And well, I'm going to keep what? mine on. This is what I'm going to say. Y'all need to call in 888-665-4483 and vote for who you think's the craziest. Because you're going to find out by the end of today's show <laughs> that it's probably going to be her. And no I'm way. the Holy Ghost filled one, anointed no by God, here from God. I'm never wrong in my marriage, and that's why we're still together to this day. So that's it's all good. That's why he's crazy. <laughs> right all the time that's why he's crazy so it's gonna yeah, be we're good. gonna talk we're gonna get real we're gonna get yeah, crazy real right. about everything and you know I'm so glad we're doing this show because there's so many people and and you may be watching and you may be saying hey listen I, I my marriage is in a turbulent time I don't know what to do I don't even know who to turn to and we're gonna talk about that today so I'm so glad that we're doing a show like this and we're able to talk about these different topics that's right it's gonna be really good we've got some great guests that are gonna be coming up as well and they're personal friends of ours and they're gonna be sharing some of their crazy stories but they're gonna have some great answers and in all realness we all go through difficult yes. times we all go through times where things are high things are low there are times as much as I love you yeah. And you know that I love you. There are times that we don't always like each other. We don't. And it's no. sometimes it's very hard. And we're going to teach you how to get unstuck. We're going to teach you all these wonderful things. And in a short amount of time, you're going to get a whole lot of revelation. So it's going to be really good. And you're right. And that whole unstuck piece, that is very, very real. And you need yeah. somebody to go. You need somebody to say, no, I'll go first. I'll go in love. In fact, I do have to give you a shout out because you okay. actually do a, a, a better job than me. Oh, you well, can't, you. You can't repeat you. that all the time, though. Oh, I, no, I appreciate that, though. <laughs> but you do. I remember there was a time when, you know, we were just hitting. And I was just stuck. I could not get unstuck. And I remember I went to the third floor. I said, <laughs> <laughs> I said, because we're thinking about a lot there. Yep, 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 um, yep. I went to our third floor. I said, I'm not coming down. I'm not going to talk to him. He doesn't even deserve me to talk to him right now. And that is it. And I was in my spot. But, you know, I really am so thankful for you because this is what he did, everybody. He came upstairs to the third floor. He saw me there. I was, I was laying on the couch. He literally, and I'm not kidding you, he literally picked me up, threw me over his shoulder, and said, you're coming downstairs, and we're going to reconcile. And that's what we need. And then I just started laughing, and I wanted to try I wanted to be mad. Yeah. I wanted to be mad, and I think you saw that initially. I did. But well, then yeah. it just then it just broke, and we laughed, and, and we got unstuck, everybody. We got unstuck. So. Yeah, y'all better recognize Dr. Love is in the house. If you've been watching Cornerstone at all with uh, hard questions, 
This is Dr. Love and Mrs. Dr. Love, and it's going to be a great time. So listen, that's, that's just some realness on our part. There are things that we walk through, and sometimes somebody's got to be willing to go to get unstuck. So you're going to hear a whole lot more in just a minute. We can't wait to have our guests share what's on their hearts. Stay tuned. Let everybody know. We'll be right back right after this. When we think of the New Testament disciples, it's easy to idealize their walk with God. But they were just like you and me. They needed a great deal of help to stay on the right path. We're excited to announce that Tom Hollis has a new devotional coming out this June. Spirit Walk follows the apostles as they attempt to follow Christ, as reflected through the book of Acts. Their experiences can be ours as well. All we need to do is follow the Spirit. Enjoy 40 short devotional entries and discover how the journey of the apostles relates to us today. Spirit Walk includes a daily verse, prayer, and space to journal your personal reflections. Be among the first to receive Tom's devotional, which releases June 12th. Ask for your copy of Spirit Walk when you give today. Call 888-665-4483 or go to ctvn.org slash donate. Thank you for your generosity. Hope happens here. Well, welcome back. It's about to get deep in here, and we are so excited that you have tuned in. And our guests are great friends of ours. They are. I've known them for many years. They're awesome people. They love God. They're great leaders. In fact, one of our guests I've worked with years and years ago in the children's ministry. Wow. And listen, they pastored two churches, one right here in Pittsburgh, Covenant Church of Pittsburgh, and also Oasis City Worship out in Ohio. Mm -hmm. I mean, so they got their plates full. They've been married for many years. They've got grown kids. So they know all about the ups and downs of marriage. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome Pastor Bill and Lynn Themelaris. So good to have you guys. It's great being here. Yes. <laughs> Yay. <laughs> It's already been fun. It's oh, already man, been fun. Yeah. We started way back. Actually, it's already been crazy. In the green room. Crazy it's already fun. been crazy. Yeah. We gotta put that word crazy <laughs> yeah. in there. I well, want your shirts, actually. We you know, can, they, we they can, can make that happen. We can make that happen. Did they have printed some for us? Right. I think I got I thought they yeah, were we for sure. Sure. They did. We, yeah. <laughs> we definitely got to get them something now. Oh my gosh. We will get you one. Well, we are so excited to have you both here. And I know that both of you are not new to Cornerstone Television. But why don't you tell the people, I'd love for them to know how long you've been married. Married, um, how that's Ooh. been, and, and your kids. Your kids are very important. So yeah. tell us how many kids you have. Well, believe it or not, we've been married for 28 years. Wow. Y'all look great. Come yes. on. I mean, that's because I got married at nine years old. <laughs> Just Which joking. makes me a criminal. That. So you can't tell that joke anymore. Just joking. Just joking. But yeah, tw we just celebrated 28, 28 years. years wow. of being married. Yes. Wow. And we have three children. Our oldest is 23 years wow. old. And then our next two turned 21 in, in July. So yeah. we're about to have like adult adults. Yeah. yeah. Like, I mean, it's crazy having like young adult kids right now. It's like, how did this happen? It you is. think it's hard when they're little? It just gets yeah. different types of hard. Yes. Of I will parenting. call you. Yeah. Different types. In a different little bit. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and I remember when they were running around in the church. I yeah. was telling you in the back Absolutely. that I just wow. remember when they were so small. And now they're like adult adults, like yes. the careers and yes. functioning in their calls and everything like that. So that's awesome to see. Well, I think the first time that I'm, I didn't meet you guys, but the first time that we started dating, just a quick little fact here. All right. Uh, I remember <laughs> I, I came, we just started dating. I'm coming to Covenant Church. It was the Sunday that they prayed you out that's to go right. to Ohio. That's really? Right. So that when I, you guys never knew that. Yeah. 12 years yeah. ago. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. Well, almost, almost 13. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's yeah. Right. Wow. Yeah. And that's when we came. And so we were here. And uh, I said, and she said, yeah, that's Pastor Bill and Lynn. They're getting ready to go out to Ohio to launch a church. And since that time, you guys have been pastoring a great church. And now you're pastoring both of those there. Yeah. But listen, I would love to talk to you more about ministry, but I want to get into some of this good marriage. stuff here. Oh, marriage. Yeah. Do you right. guys have any stories? Or situations where the crazy. Oh my came goodness! Out. First of all, some of those stories we need to have do, do privately, <laughs> yeah. but we'll, we'll share some. We're ones not made for TV. Made yeah. for TV. We'll, we'll do the ones that we're willing to share publicly. <laughs> right. Right. Yeah. So, you know, in a general sense, though, here's the funny part: is you know, people grow and they evolve in life and their desires change and such. But there are things that I thought were like solid, sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. You know, mm -hmm. and then one day Lynn's like, I don't like that. I'm like, wait a minute, you've liked that for 20 years. What are you talking about? <laughs> no, I, I don't think I ever liked that. <laughs> what do you mean? 
mean? <laughs> you know, for 20 years you've been doing this. Now, I don't, I don't really like that. Well, I'm like, what know, the heck? It's the honeymoon of marriage, right? The dating <laughs> yeah. period. Right, right, and you're right, going right, to do whatever right. the other spouse wants yep. to do because you want them to love you. That's right. And eventually, at some point, that that's crazy. It's like the novelty's like, the novelty's <laughs> worn off. Yeah, and it's just like you're stuck with me now. So that's right. Yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be, and it's sad that sometimes it takes that long. Yeah, to get real. Mm -hmm. And one of the things that I always challenge our young adult women who are starting in these relationships: yeah. listen, be you now. Right. On, because right. some right. of the crazy happens because in the midst of the situation, all of a sudden, the real you comes out. Mm -hmm. and the other person doesn't recognize that's right. That's right. Yep. that person. And they don't know how to handle it sometimes. Right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Some of it happens, I think, when you receive inner healing. Mm, I think when good. you get healed and you start living out of healing and not to impress somebody or not because of a bad habit or whatever, and then all of a sudden you have, you're free to like yeah. be you, but then your spouse sometimes is like, I don't recognize yeah. this part of you, right. but it's really a healed part. Yes. And uh, you that's saw why I think the mask. everybody needs so healing in yeah. their relationship. Yeah, like do. before they get married, in the middle of their marriage, it's never too late. Yeah. Yeah. You know, that's it's right. never too late right. to get healed of situations of the way you think, mm -hmm. just, you know, uh, ungodly beliefs in your mind, the way yeah. you think about life affects your marriage. It does. Right. I mean, the that's way so you true. perceive um, your own life, your career, your friendships, that all yeah. is so that's interwoven part. into yeah. your household. Yeah, and you know what, let's talk about being stuck because you know you mentioned that healing piece and I think that's mm -hmm. even a part of getting unstuck and I feel like anybody that's been married any length of time, they've experienced what it feels like to be stuck. It could be stuck in unforgiveness, stuck in bitterness, yeah. stuck yeah. in, you know, just communication. You may not even know how yeah. the person is communicating. You're taking that personal, you know, so how would you say, you know, how to navigate getting unstuck and how does actually redemptive love play in that process? Mm. Mm. You know, what reminds me, a few times we've been stuck yeah. in our marriage and my part in it, um, and this is me probably being in ministry, but I think husbands can do this regardless of what your career path is, is I became more married to the church than I did to my wife. Wow. Yeah. Now, I didn't intentionally do that. I didn't wake up one day and say, hey, I'm going to start uh, being all of my attention being on other people and making them happy and serving their needs and mm -hmm. the organization and what it needs. But I found myself several times over, because I've been in, we've been in ministry together for a long time, 25 years plus, and I found myself being the husband to the church rather than, and Lynn's like second place, you know, she's still my wife, but right. instead of being in first chair, she's suddenly in second chair. Third or fourth. Uh, right. Fifth. And it's like, first of all, as a pastor, like, you know, Jesus is married to the church. Yeah. It's his bride. It's not my bride, right. you know, oh, that's so true. Um, that is but, but even if you're, you know, husbands out there that aren't in ministry, but they're in careers, it's so easy to really be married to your job. Yeah. And you're doing it for the right reasons. Yeah. You're trying to be a provider. You're trying to, you know, um, you know, kind of climb the yeah. corporate ladder. The stability. For yeah, them. provide yeah. for your family, all this. But if you're not careful, and we got stuck yeah. multiple yeah. times. I mean, yeah. you think you get stuck one time and it's like, it's over, you recognize it. But I, I have slid into that. Mm -hmm. um, and I, w I guess yeah. that's a good word is sliding yeah. into that. And yeah. I think what happened, what was great for us is as I got healing and began to recognize that this was a pattern of him being married to the church, mm -hmm. right? But I had a pattern of not speaking up rather than saying something doesn't feel right to me, I would get complacent mm -hmm. and find mm -hmm. other things wow. to focus on wow. rather wow. than wow. communicate yeah, I, right now, I feel like this person is more important to you than I am, mm -hmm. or this situation is more important. Mm -hmm. And I, I'm, I'm guessing a lot of the people who are watching this show are believers, are Christians, so mm -hmm. you, they're not getting stuck necessarily in these things that you know right away, you gotta speak out mm -hmm. against. Right, right. It's oftentimes these little things mm -hmm. that begin to build up just a little bit more of a barrier a little bit more of a barrier. So and yeah. then the longer it takes for you to talk about it, mm -hmm. the more weird or crazy it seems to talk about yeah. it. Mm -hmm. right. And mm -hmm. so then you're stuck right. in that, well, I can't bring it up now. Yeah, yeah. It happened six weeks ago. That's right. It That's happened right. a month ago. Mm -hmm. If I bring it up now, I'll look crazy. Mm -hmm. 
Mm -hmm. So I had to learn, I had to own, I have to be secure enough in myself, mm -hmm. in my marriage, in our relationship that when something felt not right, mm -hmm. I could immediately go and say, let's talk about this. Right. That's so good. Yeah, that's so good. You know, I, as, as you guys were talking, I was thinking about even one of the things that kind of God led us to do, you know, when we're hitting mm -hmm. and we're stuck, you know, one of the things that we do is by that third day, say if we can't get through it, mm -hmm. by the third day, all we do is love on each other. Wow. I love that. We do. And then what happens is a lot of it, the majority of it just melts away. Yeah. And then what's left is actually what you really need to talk about in the beginning. Yeah. Yeah. But because, like you said, you kind of, you're building that wall and then something else gets piled on there and something else. And then it's like, you really don't really yeah. get to the root right. of it. And you're fighting about all this other stuff. The issue's never really the issue. The issue exactly. is never yeah. really the issue. And I think that is so good. Well, yeah. I think what happens too is we get that one thing of offense that hits in there. Mm -hmm. And then when we let things build up, like you said, maybe six weeks down the line, then it builds, builds, builds. Yeah. And then what happens, we just vomit all over each other. Right. Right. And then we're, right. exactly. we totally explode. Mm -hmm. And so that's something that we have always done done. We haven't always gotten it right. Sure. Yes. It's something that God showed us earlier on that helped us because what we do is we literally, we don't wait for each other. We take the time and say, okay, if we got into an argument today and two days from today, pretty much we, so if it was uh, Tuesday, so Wednesday, by Thursday, mm -hmm. 24 hours, nothing but love on each other. And we don't I even talk her. about, we don't yep. talk about what just happened or anything like nope. that. We just love. Just yeah. love it. So I make her her favorite meal. She'll make me her favorite meal. You know, ladies, you can, you know. I uh, know he's going to go uh, here, everybody. Right. I knew you this know, was going to happen. Know, uh, I knew it. I'll I knew leave it. that alone. Yeah. Uh, guys, that's you why you're a love show. Right. Yeah, that's a you different know, that's show. Part two okay. or three or four of the next show. Right, right. We'll leave that alone. Go buy a flower card of candy, whatever it is that she likes. Because the way to my wife's heart is through her stomach. So she loves to eat. Believe it or not. So Believe it she or not. Get her good treats, get all that. So I just go and we just love on each other and emotional affection and give her all the things that mm -hmm. she wants. Mm -hmm. And then, like we said, it just yeah. seems like it really melts a lot of the yeah. extra Absolutely. stuff. And then we find ourselves many times not even uh, saying, well, let's talk about it. it yeah. Also, I'll be like, you know, babe, when you were talking about that yesterday, I feel like I just need to be there more for you. I need right, to listen right, more. Right. I need to do this. So that's one of the ways that we do to get unstuck. Let me ask you a question. So, wait, wait. so on day three, though, when you uh -oh. do this, okay. <laughs> is this something that is automatic or do you talk about like, hey, it's, it's day three and here's what we're going to do. We're going to love on each other. You know or what? is it unspoken we'll talk about or spoken? Have, yeah, I think most of the I'm time we've talked yeah. about yeah. that. Okay. Now look, Pastor Bill's asking us questions now. <laughs> we switched it up. Good, that's really good. Good. <laughs> <laughs> We all, we, but, all but get we all gonna get healed today. We all gonna get healed. Something. We and you too. That's logic. <laughs> yeah. um, well, I think we, yeah, I think I think we, we do. talked about it, yeah. and um, we would just jump in. So, and we wouldn't tell each other how we're gonna love in terms uh, yeah. of like, you know, okay, I'm gonna get you a meal. I'm gonna right. get. We would just do it. So we'll just surprise one another and do it. He may plan like a night out for me and already, you know, talk to the babysitter and get all right. that together. But we just love on each other, and it's amazing. When you focus on love, yeah. how it covers, yeah, it and like you don't even, there's times, and I'm sure you would say this too, there's times when we focused on love and just loving on each other, we didn't even need to talk about this stuff. Yeah, yeah, right. We just it said, dissolved. all right, it right. Dissolves. we're yeah. going to yeah. eat that. Thank you, Lord, for strengthening me in this area. And that was it. Do you, you guys know? think a lot of times when we're hitting things in our marriage that God wants to take us deeper into that agape? Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. You know, one of the times, if, if we're heated um, emotionally, uh, mm -hmm. she's fired up about something, I'm fired up about something, we're not clicking on all cylinders. Um, and it's like, obviously, we need to communicate better mm -hmm. to solve this right. issue. It may not even be an issue between us. It was mm -hmm. something else, but now it's between us. Yep. You know, it was an issue about this over here. The kids did this. Something happened at yeah. school. Something happened at the job. Something happened at the church. Mm -hmm. And we're frustrated with one another. And now, now it's become our problem right. in our marriage. Right. Right. Um, one of the communication tools that we use that's a little uncomfortable, yeah. but mm -hmm. it really helps is we stop we make eye contact. Mm. Okay. Mm. Even when we, we don't want to. Even when we don't yeah. want to. Yep. Yep. And then sometimes at that point, yeah. hold hands, make eye contact. Because at that point, it's really hard to be angry. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. It's really wow. hard to be. And That's even if you point. are angry, yeah. it's hard point. to yeah. yell at the person right. or, or wow. speak mean to them or condemn yeah. them or something. It's just hard to be um, 
that yeah. emotional yeah. and it calms the situation. We hold each other, we look at each other in the eye and then we start talking about, okay, is, yeah. how, I'm feeling this way because blank. Yeah. I'm feeling this way because blank. And then before you know it, now the issue's not the issue. Yeah. And we're like, we're a team. We yeah. are made to solve yeah. this yeah, together. So not, yeah. so not, so, cause we say in our marriage, yeah. it's not my problem. It's not my problem. It's, it's our, our problem. problem. Mm -hmm. yeah. So anything we're facing is actually yeah. our problem, even if I started it. Even yeah. if Bill's the one who has the anger issue or the control issue or the or not focused on Lynn as my wife, mm -hmm. it's actually our problem yeah. together right, to solve. Right. And you know, we all live busy lives. Like everyone watching this, there's very few people who say, I would like to try being bored. Yeah. Because <laughs> we all because we all have <laughs> That's stuff right. yeah. mm -hmm. and it can get so easy to be running our own individual race and life and stuff mm -hmm. we have to get done and we made it a directive that we still date yeah, yeah. yeah. and yeah. i think a lot of times mm. in marriage what tends to happen is dating becomes a luxury right or we we're gonna go out finally. It's been, I mean, there's been times I've been in a conversation mm -hmm. with a woman and they haven't been on a date for six months. Wow. You know, wow. it's just, well that, we don't have time for that. Guys, you don't have time on, not prophesy, to date right. your spouse. That's right. That's right. Yeah. Because Amen. when you're taking regular time just to be with one another, you realize, oh, that's why I fell in love with him. Yeah. That's why I fell in love right. with her. Right. Even we, I mean, we have gone on some of the most, if I look back on it now, you could never get me to stay in that hotel, <laughs> that cabin, that tent. You went to a cabin? Yeah. We you had got her to a cabin. Camping. And it was a hunting cabin. Yeah, so it right. wasn't a luxury no. cabin. Let's Whoa. get that straight, everybody. No. It wasn't a luxury. I mean, spiders oh. in the shower. <laughs> Woo. However, oh, we made something happen yeah. on yeah, no thing. budget, low budget, whatever, yeah. because mm -hmm. when you, you get away. You have to be intentional. Be intentional. Your budget cannot and get away. be your excuse. No. Yeah. Yeah. You you Whether you have a that. lot or don't have much at all, you have got to be creative. You've got to um, put forth the effort yeah. and the energy. What I also think too, I, it's funny, I, I wanna go back to that because you mentioned about grabbing the hands and looking in the eyes. Like we shared the story about me going up and grabbing her, putting her over my shoulder. Right. And uh, there, there's something about going after your spouse. Mm -hmm. And when you guys yes. do that, it's saying, I'm not gonna do life without you. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You know, I think there's people even watching right now that you're in a rough spot, you're in a difficult place and you're watching this right now. You've gotta make a determination that I'm not going to do life without my spouse. Right. No matter what happens, right. no matter how much I dislike you at the time, I'm gonna fight for your love. Yeah. I'm gonna fight with love for your love. You know, there's another story and I think the devil wants to keep us apart and I really feel like that's that the is. message. Yeah. Yeah. And how do we, even though we're not seeing eye to eye, mm -hmm. sometimes we have, to, people want the answer and then we'll be back together. No, we're together even when we're confused. That's right. Yeah. We're together we're even when crazy. we're crazy. We're, crazy. we're together right. no matter, we're gonna be crazy together. And I remember there was a story, I'll never forget, we got into another disagreement oh, and um, I'll never forget, this was the second floor last time. I usually hang around on the first uh, floor. That's just kind of where I'm at. All right. And uh, this was in our house back in New York and I'll never forget, we were married maybe about a oh, year or so. It wasn't a long time. And okay. I'll never forget, uh, we got into something, so she went upstairs and was on the floor or whatever, doing whatever she was doing and I'm there. And the Holy Spirit said, I want you to go up there and I want you to go love on her. And he said, I want you to go tell her that you love her. And I was like, the devil is a liar. She was wrong. I'm not doing that. She's wrong. I'm not doing it. And God said, okay, don't. And I said, wait a minute, Lord, hold on, wait, wait. Well, you know, when God, to, when God gets quiet, you don't want to do that. And I was like, wait, no, all right, I'm on my way. So I felt all this inside. And I believe this is prophetic for somebody that's watching. I started making my way up the stairs and I started giggling. I was like, why is this funny to me right now? I have no idea. It was like the Holy Spirit stepped in and gave me the grace to love her. Because a lot of people don't understand when you're married, you're, it's not just you and her. Right. What God has yeah. joined together, That's it becomes right. a threefold Absolutely. cord. He has a part in that if we'll cooperate with him. So I went up there and the Holy Spirit gave me this line when I was there. So I, I, she's there on the ground. I said, you know what? I know you don't like me right now. And I don't know if I like you. I said, but we're not gonna like each other together. And I went and I sat next to her and we just started laughing. It was amazing it how it broke. broke. Yeah, I the believe the devil yeah. always wants to bring that spirit of yeah. strife yeah. and we have to make a decision right. yeah. to say, you know what? Grab each other's hands, look into Absolutely. each other's eyes. I'm gonna be with you yeah. no matter what. You can't what. allow that wedge right. from we, the we, enemy. We have a thing that we, we have always said that the one thing we will never do is talk about divorce. 
That's good. Because what tends to happen, we get angry at each other. People get angry and they just start saying these things. Mm -hmm. And then all you do when you start talking that way, you actually give the enemy opportunity to mess things up even more. Like you're yeah. partnering with him. Yeah, yeah right? you're partnering oh, yeah. with the mm -hmm, enemy. Mm -hmm. And so um, no matter how angry or upset or how right I know that I am. <laughs> That's right. <Come> on. <laughs> and how wrong and how stupid I was. <laughs> right. well, you, you've learned so well. She That's trained right. you so That's well. Good. Well, good for I've done a lot of stupid That's things. Right. So I have 28 done years of training. Things. But, and so have I. But we never allow those words to be tools or a weapon that we're going to use. It's always we're going to approach this. We would rather be reconciled than be right Amen. at the end of the day. Amen. And yeah. we're not going to say things like that that opens a door for our minds to Amen. really get messed up. Right. Amen. Well, that we, is. Oh. I, I, saying, I wanted to take a minute, if you would, Pastor Bill, would you just minister to the people? Now, we only got about a minute left. Okay. I wish we had a part two to this, but yeah. uh, take a minute and just pray um, for the people, however you guys want to pray together yeah. and just minister to the people sure. that they'll come together. Well, Father, I just thank you for every person that's watching right now, uh, whether it be live or whether they're watching this a year from now. Uh, Lord, we know that you are present in this very moment. And God, I'm asking for the restoration of marriages, marriages that have been struggling, marriages where they feel like they are two separate people completely apart, Lord, that you would be that three-stranded cord that would, Holy Spirit, that you would tie people together. We just ask that there would be husbands that turn their hearts to their wives and wives to their husbands, that there would be um, uh, repair that takes place. Lord, that there would be forgiveness that is overflowing in households and even where there's strife with children and such, Lord, that you would just, um, you would just bless uh, moms and dads. You would just bless husbands and wives and that marriages um, would be totally secure in you and a testimony to uh, the lives of so many in our neighborhoods and in our churches and in, in our workplaces. We just ask for that in the name of Jesus. Baby, you wanna say? I just speak right now that there's some people out there right now watching who already have the divorce papers in your hand. Wow. Okay. And I just wanna to speak to you right now and say, it is not too late. Amen. It's Come never on. too late. So, um, so I'm just gonna encourage you right now yes. to go back to your spouse, go back and submit and say to one another, we choose to be reconciled yes. over being right thank in you, this Lord. situation. Amen. 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 Well, Pastors Bill and Lynn, thank you guys so thank much. Thank you so much. This yes. has been so much yes. fun. Absolutely. We've so enjoyed yes. it. we got more to talk about. We do. Oh, we do. More. We do. <laughs> and we hope that you have been blessed. And we pray that wherever you are, even as Pastor Lynn just mentioned, get a hold of that person, grab them by the hands, look them in the eyes, say, baby, it's me and you. We're going to love each other's crazy together. <laughs>